books and then I wrote the 100 Day Pantry because I found myself needing the information that's here and not being able to find it anywhere. I wanted recipes that were totally pantry based and I couldn't find it in a book, I couldn't find it on the internet. So I started doing some research and modifying recipes that my family already enjoyed and eventually came up with 135 main dish recipes that are totally out of the pantry. Nothing fresh, nothing frozen, nothing from the fridge, not even water. Everything you need will stay in your pantry and stay for two years. I figured if we're going to have this stuff, we want it in a form where we can use it and enjoy it. A lot of us have canned goods. But I don't want to have to sit down and eat a can of pineapple with a fork and then a can of tuna. I would much rather eat a pot of delicious stew or soup. And so from these recipes, I recommend that you find 10 or 12 your family likes, try them out, go buy enough, gradually build your stash of 100 days worth of main dish meals. And then the bag here represents the idea that you put a place in your kitchen shelf where you keep one meal. And once a week you use one of these meals to feed your family. Have a pantry night, probably the most hectic night of your week. Keep it simple. Then as you use them, if you use one once a week, you'll go through your whole stash in two years. Nothing gets old, nothing gets wasted, nothing gets thrown away, nothing gets outdated. And then if you ever have to rely on your pantry, it's stuff your kids are already used to. They've been eating it all along. It's familiar, they like it. And there's no what I call funny stuff. I mean, I'm all for all kinds of wheat and beans and all those good things, but I didn't use them in this book. This book addresses the idea of normal food. Almost everything is from the grocery store. I use dried onions, dried sour cream, dried peppers, almost everything else you can buy at your grocery store. And so they're simple meals, they go together quickly, great for kids, no chopping, no sautéing, great for college students, this book in a crock pot, they can survive. It's great for the cabin, it's great for the condo. And my purpose was to make it easier for people to get their heads around the idea of a pantry full of food that they could really use. This is manageable. At first I thought 12 meals times 30 and I've got my year supply, but people don't eat that way. So this leaves plenty of room in your week for new ideas, fresh food, but once a week, use one of your pantry meals and then your family will always be prepared.